and welcome to the Miniature Showcase. The Miniature Showcase takes a look at different miniatures from different games. In today's video, we'll have a look at a ship from Mantic Games' Armada. This ship is included in the Armada 2-player starter set. The ship we are featuring is the Basilian Gur Panther. And in this video, I'll show you how I painted it. This model comes in five pieces, and as you can see here, it pretty much breaks the ship down into its simple parts. There's a hull, a bow sprite, the main mast, the secondary mast, with an aft mast as well. If it looks like a simple kit, you're, you're right. This model is very simple to put together, and I think the folks at Mantic are pretty confident about this because there are no instructions on how you put the model together. Before we start the build, Let's look at the different parts. This is the hull, the main part of the model. First off, I must say that the model is relatively clean. The, the more lines are minimal and easy to clean. The injection lanes are thick and will require a cutter of some sort. I personally use a large hobby clipper. Um, there are some very nice details and I would recommend having a proper look around the figure and find things like this little injection lane, which I'm going to have to remove. The deck of the ship looks uh, very nice. The amount of detail is very, very impressive. Now this is the main mast. Uh, the logo is actually printed on it. I like how the detail on the fold of the ships looks very, very nice. It looks, they can actually see the tension marks. That's really, really great. And um, the secondary mast, you can actually tell this. There's actually a difference between both of this uh, mass, although yeah, one is actually quite small, one is actually smaller than the other. The main mass is smaller than the, the, the secondary mass. Um, this is the aft mast, and as you can see, it fits quite perfectly into this secondary mass. It's actually, like I said, it's, it's quite brilliant how it's done. It's very simple, very easy. Yeah, so yeah, there's a difference between the main mass and so you won't be confused on which one goes where yeah this is the bow sprite now the bow sprite well it's a bit bent so i think i'm gonna have to put in some hot water to straighten it out and as you can see when you fit it onto the front of the ship yep it fits well um i don't think i'm gonna be needing any you know filler of any sort the only thing i need to be doing is straightening out the bow sprite yeah, yeah but it's all part of the prep. This is the hull of the ship. Now, what I did was I sprayed the hull brown. I used uh, oak brown as my main uh, base. Now, as you can see, I needed a light, very light layer to give it a nice smooth uh, finish. I then did the decks. This is done with a uh, tan flesh, and then I proceeded to give it a wash or flesh wash i like that i like the brown tone in flat in the flesh wash so i'm using it for this particular model i also use a tan flesh to give it a highlight just in the center parts of the ship you know to give it a little bit of like texture to give it a little bit of like body depth i then gave uh the main hull a wash of dark wash and yeah, a little, little bit of hair there and i dry brushed a little bit of uh, oak brown on it just so yeah just to give it a bit of a highlight and also did the uh, little bits of whites on the side of the hull I gave the mask a coat of um, Starship interior uh, from my painter just for that very off-white and then what I did later was I gave the figure a little bit of a blue wash because I wanted a nice blue hue on the under under color of the of the mass and then proceeded to give uh, the uh, mask uh, overcoat or, of uh, starship interior and you can see the blue hue is still underneath and it helps give it some body and then proceeded to uh, paint the mask and as you can see once once painted you can see the amount of detail and how how much much work has gone into the sculpt. I really like how the mask look. 
I then did um, add a more color to um, yeah to the hull, and then the front parts, the fore, I did decks, the cannons. As you can see, I did the bow sprite, uh, the figurehead, and then I painted the uh, logo on top of the um, on mast. A little bit of like a gold, bright gold, and and all the blue. I used um, crystal blue. Now, this is the model finally built. As you can see, I think it turned out really, really nice. What I really, really liked about it was it's a simple model, but the amount of detail on it was very encouraging. If you're if you're into painting, you'd be, I think you'd be rewarded for the amount of time you put to the model. All in all, I think I put about I want to say five, maybe six hours into this model, not not counting drying time. And once the model was done, I even gave the model uh, some blue pennants, which I thought was a uh, was a well, it, it felt like the model needed <laughs> some pennants on top of the ship. I used crystal blue for that as well. I'm very very quite I'm very quite proud of how the, the ship turned out. As you can see, it looks great on table. Um, actually uh, changed the base I received a, a wooden base for this model but what I did instead was I put it on an acrylic sheet um, and hey, it looks great I'm looking forward to having this actually I'm looking forward to playing with this model um, yeah and I'm looking forward to maybe perhaps paint more Basilian ships if you like videos like this, do give me a like and a subscribe. I'm not so sure whether these kind of videos are something you're looking for. But these are definitely the ones I enjoy making. So I'm going to do maybe do one, maybe one more Armada ship. So look out for that one. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, and don't forget to ring the bell in case you're waiting for that ship uh, painting guy to come out. And that's pretty much it. Um, I enjoy painting this figure and I'm sure that when, if you ever you get into the Armada game, you probably enjoy the figure as well. So that's about it. Uh, thank you very much for watching and don't forget to enjoy painting those figures.